treasury of blessings and giver of life come abide in us cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls holy God holy mighty holy Lord 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 holy God holy mighty holy both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heaven, is in us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, our our Holy God, who is in the Holy God, who is in the Holy Spirit, 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 Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil For thy church, and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and good will toward men. 
Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no, no salvation for him in his God. But to thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down, down and slept. I awoke, for, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause on my on my enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head. As a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled, are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humble exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evil from me spake vain things, and craftinesses all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine, let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be, atten be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee, in the land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee, to see thy that, see that power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, so my lips shall praise thee. So shall I, so shall I bless thee in my life, and in, the, in thy name will I, will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness on my soul be filled, and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed, at the dawn, at the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou hast become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. Thy soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath prepared to help me. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go to the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou hast become my helper. In the shelter of thy wounds will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been put to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord God is my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down my ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul. And my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh, and counted with them that go down into the pit, and become as a man without help, free among the dead like the bodies of the slain, who sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead shall thou work wonders. Or shall physicians raise them up within to give thanks unto thee? 
Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth and that destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turnest thy face away from me? A poor man am I in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, and they come to me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. So let my prayer come before thee, bow down my ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul, and of all that is within me, let bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thy iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities. Redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion. Who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy, and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, and to the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy, not unto the end will he be angered. Neither unto eternity will it be wrong. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them to fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, yet remember that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over, then shall it be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, to remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty in strength, to perform his word, to perform, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication and my truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands, I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee like a waterless land, quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for to thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from my enemies, O Lord, and to thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope. Glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. With peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. With peace of the whole world, the greatest state of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its presidents, civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other all our life unto Christ our God. To be our due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our God, to thee, O Lord. For thine is 
the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The ointment bearing women glanced into the entrance of the tomb, and because they could not bear the brilliance of the angel, they trembled in astonishment, saying, Hath he been stolen hope in paradise to the thief? Or is he risen up who before his passion didst preach resurrection? Where verily Christ God is risen, granting resurrection and life to those who are in Hades. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast suffered crucifixion willingly, O Savior, and immortal men placed it in a new tomb, he who has disestablished the corners of the world with a word. Therefore hath death the stranger been bound and taken captive, being defeated. And all those in Hades cried out through thy reviving resurrection, Verily Christ the life giver is risen, for he is everlasting and constant, both now and ever, and of the ages of ages, Amen. Thy betrothed and guardian of the Otokos, when he beheld thy supernatural conception without seal, was amazed and perplexed. But he recalled to his mind the rain falling on the fleece of wool, and the bush burning with fire, but not consumed. And he testified before the priest, saying, A virgin giving birth, and after remaining virgin. Thou didst rise from the tomb, O Christ, to save your our God, because thou art deathless, and thou didst raise with thee thy word, by thy world, by thy resurrection, and didst crush the might of death, proclaiming, proclaiming resurrection to all. Wherefore do we glorify thee, O thou who alone art merciful, and the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Gabriel descended from his sublime height, wrapped in a white robe, and came to the stone where the rock of life was. And he shouted to the weeping women, saying, Cease your wailing and crying, and receive ye smiling joy with comfort. For he whom you seek weeping is verily risen. Wherefore go and proclaim to the apostles that the Lord is risen, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All the ranks of the angels, O thou who art undefiled, have been dazzled by the secret of thy dreadful birth giving, that the all encompassing at, at a sign from him was encompassed in thy bosom as a babe, and, and that he who is before eternity received a temporal be beginning, and that he who feedeth every living breath was in, with his ineffable goodness was nourished with milk. Wherefore did they glorify thee with praise, if thou art truly the Theotokos. Blessed art thou, O Lord, to meet me thy statutes. The company of the angels was amazed when they beheld thee numbered among the dead. Yet thyself, O Savior, you destroyed the power of death, and with thee raising of battle, and releasing all land from hell. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Wherefore, O men and disciples, greedy wrinkles, sweet smelling spices, with your tears of pity, the radiant angel within the sepulchre cried unto the murdering women, Behold the raven of their stem, for the same your is risen from the tomb. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Very early in the morning did the murder bearing women run the land and went to thy tomb. But an angel came to warn them, saying, The time for lamentation is past. We need not but announce unto the apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. The murdering women, mourners, their spices, they drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angels came unto them, saying, Why number ye the living among the dead, in that he is God, he is risen from the grave? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We adore the Father, as also the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
the Holy Trinity in one essence, crying with the seraphim. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O Lord, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In that thou didst bear the giver of life, O Virgin, thou didst redeem Adam from sin. And this gift to thee, joy in place of sadness. And he who was incarnate of thee, both God and man, hath restored to life those who have fallen therefrom. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. O our God and our hope, glory to the. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All things to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious lady of the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary, and all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To Blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Amen. The ointment bearing women hastened running to the apostles and related to them the account of thy resurrection, O Christ, saying, Thou hast risen because thou art God, granting the world great mercy. The many sufferings from my youth combat me, but thou, O Savior, assist and save me. O ye haters of Zion, depart from shame from before the Lord, for ye shall be dry by fire as the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, every spirit shall live and shall be purified, ascending and brilliant through the one hidden and pure Trinity. To, the, to thee, O Lord, have I cried fervently from the depths of my soul. Let thy divine ears listen to me. All those who, all those who have placed their trust in the Lord shall transcend all sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Verily, the Holy Spirit doth overflow with streams and passages of grace, and doth water all creation with everlasting life. Let my heart rise to thee, O Lord, and let not the pleasures of the world enter into me to vie with the earthly life. And as each of us hath surpassing love to his mother, the more should we love the Lord with utmost fervor. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit cometh the riches of divine knowledge, divine vision, and wisdom. For through him the word doth proclaim all the commandments of the Father. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Arise, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. O God, with our own ears have we heard. O Christ, O God, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Praise him in the 
firmament of his power. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. That we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Glory to the Lord. Glory to thee. At that time, Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in. He saw the linen cloths by themselves, and he departed, wondering at what had happened. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk and are sad? Then one of them named Cleopas answered him saying, are you only a stranger in Jerusalem? And do you not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty indeed, and word before God, and all the people now, the chief priests and rulers, delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. And they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. And Jesus said to them, O foolish men, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. But Jesus appeared to be going further that they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread, and blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them. And their eyes were open, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them saying, the Lord is risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he was known to them in the breaking. Yeah. 
beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. Thou art our God, and we know none other beside thee. We call upon thy name. Come, all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross, his joy come into all the world. Every blessing of the Lord, let us sing his resurrection. For in that he endured the cross for us, he hath destroyed death through death. Have mercy on you, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, and hast not made manifest them to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt blush me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness, the bones that are humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn my face away from all my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and make thy governing spirit established. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and in God shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou desire sacrifice, I have given it. With full burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice of the God is broken in spirit, a heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, like a pleasure in his eye, and let the walls of the be built up. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and full heart offerings, then shall the offer of the upon an altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, through the intercessions of the apostles, O God, who art merciful, Lord, out of the multitudes of our transgressions, O crown and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Thou, who art merciful, Lord, of all the multitudes of our transgressions, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us life eternal and great mercy. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all Immaculate Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John of the holy, glorious, all laudable apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the holy apostles, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, the patrons and protectors of this holy community, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myra, Spiridon of Trimetheus, and Nicarius of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, the three holy great pillars of orthodoxy, Photius the Great, Gregory Palamas, and Mark of Ephesus, of our fathers among the saints, Patrick of Ireland, Augustine of Canterbury, Chad of Mercia, Cuthbert of Lindisfarne, Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, and Sebastian of Jackson in California, of the holy glorious great martyrs, Stephen the Archdeacon and First Martyr, Justin the Philosopher, George the Trophy Bearer, 
Demetrius the Merch Dreamer, Alban the First Martyr of Britain, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, Minas the Wonder Worker, and Mitrophon and John of China, of the hero martyrs Ignatius the Godbearer of Antioch, Paralympos and Eleftherios, of Hilarion the New Martyr of the Soviet Yoke, and Luke the Surgeon and Confessor, of the holy, glorious, great women martyrs Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kyriaki, Potini, Marina, Felix, Eva, and Irene, Thea the Catechist in China, the Twice Martyr, the New Martyrs, Grand Duchess Elizabeth and Barbara of the Soviet Yoke, of our venerable and God bearing fathers who shone in the ascetic life, Pacomius and Anthony the Great of Egypt, John Cassian the Roman, Benedict of Nursia, John of Damascus, Sabbath the Sanctified, Brendan the Voyager, Columba of Iona, Kevin of Glendalo, Bede the Venerable, Seraphim of Sarab, Nicodemus of the Holy Mountain, Herman of Alaska, Porphyrios of Capso Calibia, and Paisius of Manathos, of the Holy Venerable Women Monastics, Bridget of Kildare, Amalia and Macrina the Betrothed, Paula of Rome, Marana and Kira of Syria, Genevieve of Paris, Cassiani the Hymnographer, and Irene Chrysobolantu, Great Missionary Saints, Nina the Enlightener of Georgia, Cyril and Methodius the Enlightener of the Slavs, and Nicholas of Japan, Great Kings and God Crowned Rulers, Constantine the Great and his mother Helena, Theodosius the Great, Theodora the Restorer of the Icons, Olga and Vladimir of Rus, Tamara, Queen of Georgia, Simeon the Murgusher, First Orthodox King of Serbia, Oswald of Northumbria, and Olaf of Norway, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Hannah, of the hero martyr Pankratios, Bishop of Tiromina in Sicily, the martyrs Andrew and Proclus, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners, we make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Through the mercy and compassions and love for mankind. Of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good of my living spirit, now and ever, down to ages of ages. Amen. Now hath my deliverer and mighty Savior raised the earth born from the grave and from their bonds, since he is God. And he hath crushed Hades' prison gates, and is arisen on the third day as sovereign Lord. Let us, the earth born, all praise Christ, the giver of life, who is risen from the dead on the third day out of the grave, and hath shattered the, shattered the gates of death today by his own power. He hath put Hades to death, broken the sting of death, and freed Adam together with Eve. In gratitude, let us cry out our praise with fervor. For as the only mighty God, he is arisen on the third day as sovereign Lord. On July 9th, in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate the higher martyr Pankratios, Bishop of Teorma in Sicily, and, and disciple of the Holy Apostle Peter. Pankratios, having set himself as foundation, raised upon it a house from the stones of his contest. On the 9th, Pankratios saw the house of the Almighty. This saint was born in Antioch during the time when the Lord Jesus Christ walked as man on earth. Hearing about the miracles of Christ, the parents of Pankratios desired to see the Lord. Together with Pankratios, they traveled to Jerusalem, where they saw Jesus, heard his words, and witnessed his miracles. While there, Pankratios met the Apostle Peter. After the ascension of the Lord, both parents and Pankratios were baptized in Antioch. Later, the Apostles Peter and Paul appointed him as the Bishop of, of Teorma in Sicily. There he worked many, many miracles, destroyed the idols, baptized the unbaptized, strengthened the baptized, and governed well the Church of God. A heathen commander, Aquilinus, heard, heard that the entire city of Teorma became Christian and set out with an army to destroy it. Pinkatios went with the clergy outside the city, carrying the invincible weapon, the honorable cross. 
When the army approached the city, darkness befell them, and the soldiers were overcome with great fear. Confused, the attackers turned against one another and slaughtered each other. In the end, Pankratios was stoned to death by envious and evil heathens and found rest in the Lord. On this day, we also commemorate the martyrs Andrew and Provis. May the intercessions of thy saints, O Christ God, have mercy upon us. Amen. I shall open my mouth, and it will be filled with the Spirit, and I shall speak forth to the great and mother. I shall see thee sing joyfully, sing your praises, and I shall delight to sing of the wonders. As I am living in copious mountain, a pale sits in clouds of glory upon the throne of the Godhead. Jesus, the most high God, came with mighty hand and saved those who cried out unto him. Glory to thy power, O Christ. All creation was amazed at thy divine glory. For thou, unwedded virgin, didst hold in thee the God of love, and didst bear the eternal Son, who rewards with salvation all those who him thy praises. And we the God be minded, celebrate this sacred and all honorable feast of the Mother of God. Come, let us clap our hands together, and glorify the God whom she mourns. The godly-minded children <coughs> worship not the creature rather than the Creator. The trampling up upon the thread of fire in manly fashion, they rejoiced in saying, O oh, praise, Lord and God of our fathers, blessed art thou. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord, the three holy children in the furnace, the child of the Theotokos sake. Then was the time, now is its fulfillment, and the whole world gathers to see. All ye words praise the Lord, and magnify him unto all ages. Theotokos and the mother of the light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my Savior. Oh, Lord, I am the Lord, and I share the and more glorious be our compared than the seraphim. Now who without corruption bearest of the word, and art truly pale, told those we magnify me. Lord, he hath regarded the loveliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim.
to all his saints. We glorify thy resurrection, O Lord Almighty. O thou who sufferest crucifixion and death, and didst arise from the dead. Praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. Thou hast freed us, O Christ, from the first curse, and by thy death thou didst banish the insurgency of diabolus prevailing over our nature. And in thy resurrection thou didst fill all with joy, wherefore we cry to thee, O thou Lord, who didst rise from the dead, glory to thee. Praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness. O Christ, Savior, who did rise from the dead, lead us by thy cross to thy right hand, and save us from the gins of the enemy. Stretch forth thine arm and raise us who are fallen in sins. Through the intercessions of thy sins, O Lord, the lover of mankind. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp. O only Son of God, thou didst come to earth, but was not separated from the paternal bosom. And because of thy love to mankind, thou didst become unchangeable man. Thou didst suffer crucifixion and death in the flesh. O thou who in thy divinity suffereth not, thou didst rise from the dead, granting mankind immortality. For thou alone art almighty. Praise him with a timbrel and dance, praise him with strange instruments and organs. Thou didst purchase for us deathlessness, O Savior. When thou didst accept death bodily, thou didst dwell in a grave to deliver us from Hades. Raising us with thee, for as man thou didst suffer, but since thou art God, thou didst arise. Therefore do we shout glory to thee, O Lord, giver of life, who alone art the lover of mankind. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him upon the loud symbols, praise him upon the high sounding symbols. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. When thy cross, O Savior, was planted in Golgotha, the rocks were split asunder. And when thou was placed in a grave like the dead, the gatekeepers of Hades were afraid. For thou didst abolish the might of death. And in thy resurrection, thou didst bestow incorruptibility on all the dead. Wherefore, O Lord, giver of thy glory to thee. Arise, O oh my God, lift up thy hand, and forget not the humble. The women, O oh Christ God, desire to behold thy resurrection. And Mary Magdalene went ahead of them, and she found the stone rolled away from the grave, and she saw the angel sitting thereon, who said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Verily he hath risen to save all creation, for he is God. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show all thy marvelous works. Say, O Jews, where is Jesus, whom ye thought ye were guarding? Where is he whom ye have thrown into the grave and sealed there to the stone? Give us the dead one, all deniers of life. 
Give us the buried one, or else believe in the risen one. And if you keep silent about the resurrection, the stone shall proclaim it, even that stone which was rolled away from the door of the tomb. Albeit great is thy mercy, and great is the mystery of thy dispensation, O Savior, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How wise are thy judgments of Christ, in that thou didst grant to Understanding of thy resurrection by the burial wrappings alone. Whereas thou didst walk along with Luke and with Cleopas, conversing. Yeah. 
only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, Thou that takest away the sins of the world. Accept our prayer, Thou that sittest on the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For Thou alone art holy, Thou alone art the Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every morning will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name now and ever. And unto the ages of ages. Grant, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praise and glorify his thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. O Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, unto thee how I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy life shall we see light. Extend my mercy to them that know thee. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Amen. Then 
peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our country, its presidents, civil authorities, and armed forces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside, and for the faithful who dwell therein. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For gospel seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, most holy, and ourselves, and each other, and all of our life unto Christ our God. It is good to give praise unto the Lord and to sing unto thy name, O Most High. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, all the sacred save us. To proclaim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, all the sacred save us. Upright is the Lord, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, all the Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, all the Savior, save us. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance for all, holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, we pray to ourselves and to
Lord is king and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength and hath girded himself. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Alleluia. For he hath established the world which shall not be moved. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to Thee. Alleluia. Holiness becometh my house, O Lord, unto length of days. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to Thee. Alleluia. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to Thee. Alleluia. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy begotten Son and Word of God, though immortal Salvation, it takes you be incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, and with crucified Christ our God, trampling down death by death, being one of the holy Trinity, glorified with the Father. to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance are all, holy, immaculate, most blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, most holy, and all our lives Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. O Lord, thou art the good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe the glory, to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us shout with jubilation with the God our Savior. Having learned the joyful message of the resurrection from the angel, the women disciples of the Lord pass from them their parental condemnation and proudly brought the news to the disciples saying, Death hath been spoiled. Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Let us come before his countenance with thanksgiving, and with songs let us shout in jubilation unto him. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King over all the earth. Having learned the joyful message of the resurrection from the angel, the women disciples of the Lord pass from them their parental condemnation, and proudly broke the news to the disciples, saying, Death hath been spoiled. Christ God is risen, granting the will. Mercy. For in his hands are the ends of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his. For the sea is his, and he made it, and the dry land his hands have fashioned. Having learned the joyful message of the resurrection from the angel, the women disciples of the Lord pass from them their parental condemnation. And proudly broke the news to 
thy disciples, saying, Death has been spoiled. Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Wisdom, let us attend. Oh. Oh. 
desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but it is not enlightened or being ignorant of the righteousness that comes from God and seeking to establish their own. They did not submit to God's righteousness, for God is the end of the law that everyone who hath faith may be justified. Moses writes that the man who practices the righteousness which is based on the law shall live by it. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For man believes with his heart and is so justified, and he confesses with his lips, and so is saved. <laughs> Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Draw your bow and prosper and reign for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Righteousness and hated wickedness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wisdom, stand upright. Let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be to all. To thy Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. At that time, when Jesus came to the country of the Gergesenes, two demoniacs met him coming out from the tombs so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many swine was feeding at some distance from them, and the demons begged him, If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of the swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the swine, and behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea, and perished in the waters. The 
herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything and what had happened to the demoniacs. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. And getting into a boat, he crossed over and came to his own city. Glory to the Lord, glory to me. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Christ is in our midst. He is forever shall be. The story that we hear from Matthew this morning takes place in chapter 8. And chapter 8 just has this series of events where you just see the power of Christ demonstrated again and again in different ways, and you get the sense of the completeness or the fullness of his authority. Of his, uh, of his divinity. He cleanses a leper at the beginning of the chapter and then goes on to heal the centurion's servant with nothing more than a word. And uh, we heard uh, last week about the centurion's faith and how he knew that there was this authority in Christ and he accepted that authority. Later on, we hear that Peter's mother-in-law is healed uh, in her home where she is sick and that many, many people are brought to uh, the village to be healed so many that there's no room in the house they have to stay outside and, and jesus heals them uh, anyone who came following that healing and all of those multiple healings there's a story about disciples who come and they want to follow jesus but they also kind of want to have things their own way and as a result you get this you begin to see this sort of rift between what it takes to follow jesus and having it your own way. And then Jesus does something really interesting. He gets into a boat and he begins to cross the Sea of Galilee from one side to the other, from the, the Jewish side to the Gentile side. And a storm rises up and he is asleep in the boat. And of course, we all know the story that the disciples believe that they are drowning and Jesus calms the storm with a word, right? With just a command. So all of this chapter leads us to this demonstration of power of the divinity of Christ and of his goodness to humanity and then we get to this one and there's such a curious ending to this story isn't there right you the story begins with telling us that he goes across the sea and then when he came to the other side the country of the Gergesenes there met him two demon possessed men coming out of the tombs and they are fierce they are violent they are scary and they meet him and they begin to speak to him uh, in, in some of the other gospels it says that they're so fierce that nobody no longer uh, go go by that way they don't take that route when they have to travel that it's so scary they leave that neighborhood and they move on so jesus has this discussion with them uh, and they the demons say you know why are you here before the time what have you to do with us and he says, uh, he doesn't really say anything to them. They say, if you're gonna cast this out, then cast this into the swine over there. This is such a, a curious story because he does so. He agrees to that. And there's a couple of things that are demonstrated from this. When the, when the demon is cast out, it goes to show that they can only do what God allows them to do, right? And that when they go into the, the swine, the swine immediately rush down and are destroyed. Also showing that the only reason those two men were not destroyed was, was because God was limiting the power of those demons. That God is present in their lives even though they have participated in this demon possession. And then the shocking part of the story comes that the, the herdsmen run back to their village. They tell everyone, they tell everyone everything that's happened. 
these men who were demon possessed and violent are in their right mind and are with Jesus and then the, the town comes out and they see him they take uh, an assessment of the situation and then they ask him to leave don't you think that's interesting they have just seen a miracle and they don't want any more to do with it right how many times have you seen a miracle and wanted nothing more to do with it right how many times has God's grace come into your life in such a way that it changes the direction of your life but you don't want that change right you don't you don't want that change because it means changing so many things about your life sometimes we experience this in a, in a change of health both bad and good from our perspective and we ask God to leave us alone I preferred it the other way that I had it whichever way it was sometimes a change in our economic circumstance can also provoke so many different changes that we ask God's grace to be removed so the the, the, the Gergesenes are not really that different from us when they ask Jesus to leave he brings with them a change but they are not really prepared for that change and they do not want that change and so they say, will you please leave our neighborhood? We all have an idea of the kind of life we want. And oftentimes that leads us to desire a kind of righteousness that is not of God, but that really is of our own making. Now, St. Paul in his letter to the Romans today is gonna, he's gonna ask the question, why is it that the Jews who have waited their Messiah finally get him and they don't accept him? Why does that happen? How is that possible that they have awaited centuries for this Messiah? And when he comes, they don't want anything to do with him. And he says this. He says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. I want them to know God's goodness just as I know it, right? For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God. They, they have this passion for God, but not according to knowledge, not according to the substance of what God really is. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness, they being ignorant of God's righteousness, seek to establish their own righteousness. I want the life that I want, not the one that you can give me, right? So St. Paul tells us that this this experience of God's grace that we all have and the mystery of our ingratitude for it is one that is caught up with establishing our own self-righteousness, our own kind of goodness. And I just want to talk a little bit about that this morning. That <coughs> wanting the life we want, wanting the things that we know and not really trusting in God's righteousness we seek to establish our own righteousness. And as a result, we really cut ourselves off over and over again from the, the goodness, from the grace of God. When I was thinking through this, the story of the man with the withered hand and, and later on in Matthew uh, came to mind. There is, they're in the, Jesus is in the synagogue on the Sabbath and uh, the Pharisees begin to ask him, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? Can you do that? They're in the synagogue, they're there, uh, theoretically have read the scriptures, and, and they're not asking to actually discover something new. They're asking to find fault with Jesus and to prove their own righteousness. There's a man with a withered hand who, uh, you know, certainly tremendously impacted uh, in his life with this withered hand and his ability to be able to do things. And Jesus says, you know, if you had a, a, a lamb that was in a ditch, you would go over and pick it out on the Sabbath, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you do that? And of course they all agree to that. And so he turns to the man and he tells him, and I love this story, the story is so beautiful. He's got a withered hand, right? And he says, stretch out your hand. That's the one thing I can't do, right? And he does it on the Sabbath. The goodness of God demonstrated, the grace of God active right there. And rather than entering into the wonder and gratitude of God's gracious mercy, the Pharisees then from that moment begin to seek to take Jesus' life. 
they want to establish, they're more interested in the life that they know than the life that God can give them. And I think in some ways, I know I am guilty of that. And I believe that we all struggle with some of that. Now there's another consequence of this as we seek to establish our own righteousness. And that is that we begin to believe that, that the goodness in our life comes from us. And there's a, there's a sense when, when, I, when, I, when I think of myself as a good person, right? There's nothing wrong with thinking of yourself as a good person. I mean, you are a creature of God. But there is a difference to think that goodness is of your own making. Goodness comes from God alone. We participate in that goodness. But when we think that goodness comes from us, we, uh, we really are cut off from communion with God. And there's a breakdown. We, we separate ourselves from God. The man that was born blind, you know, in, in John chapter 9, the, dis the disciples are walking along and they say, was this man born blind because of his sin or the sin of his parents? And Jesus says he was not, not made blind for any sin, but it's to the glory of God. And he is healed by Jesus and the authorities, they don't, they don't recognize the healing. They don't want any part of it. And they, they, they go through all of this series of interviews. They interview the, the man who's been healed because they don't recognize him. And they interview his parents to say, is this really the same guy? And then they interview the guy again. And they, they, they cannot bring themselves to accept this grace that has happened because it would mean a change in their life, right? So I think that we should take this story of the village uh, of the dirty scenes as a mirror for our own life to examine the ways in which we too like them reject the grace of God because it means change for us that sometimes is really hard for us but the, the thing of it is is that God's grace is so beautiful and the change will bring us into a life that we don't know yet that we really have to step away from ourselves and say Lord I trust you in all things I know that you are good, I know that you are true, I know that you are beautiful, and you have that life for me. So brothers and sisters, I, I want to suggest to us a little um, a pathway. Uh, Blaise Pascal, who 16th century um, philosopher, he said, God is none other than the savior of our wretchedness. So we can only know God well by knowing our own iniquities. Right? To look at ourselves deeply and to see all of the flaws that we have and to know that it's okay. Those who have known God without knowing their wretchedness have not glorified God, but have glorified themselves. Right? God's grace always invites us into a place that we've never been before. Into his beauty, into his truth. St. Isaac the Syrian said this, Blessed is the man who knows his weakness. This knowledge becomes for him the foundation and the beginning of his coming unto all good and beautiful things. Right? Now, you know, this morning when I missed the blessed master, I felt terrible about that, right? And there's this moment of like, I wish you didn't have to see my mistakes. Right? Glory to God that my mistakes are right out there, right? <laughs> Thank God. It is the beginning of the foundation of knowing real goodness, something deeper than anything you have conceived before. There is a saying uh, on the internet, and that they ascribe it to Leonardo da Vinci, but I have no idea who actually said it. And the saying is, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. God asks us for a simple faith. He does not ask us to be rocket scientists. He just simply asks us to follow him where he will lead, to accept the grace that he gives to us into that unknown and trust in his goodness, in his truthfulness, in his beauty. St. Paul will go on to say this. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. He is the goal. He is the fulfillment. He is calling us to be as he is. Brothers and sisters, 
Paul, St. Paul goes on to write, he says, For Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does these things shall live by them. But the righteous of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. He's actually referring here to Deuteronomy 30. He says, you know, we make it so complex. We say we need someone to go up to heaven to bring down the blessings, or we need someone to go into the depths to find and discover how to bring back the dead. All of these complex things, we really, it's already here. Those are excuses. It's already here. It's in our, our mouth. It's in our hearts and minds. It's much simpler than we think. So brothers and sisters, let us, let us throw away our own goodness and really just experience the grace of God and to enjoy his beauty and goodness and his truth. Enjoy the risen Lord within you. Just as Paul said, it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. That's the true goodness. That's the really interesting goodness. And I think that's where I'll end this morning. I think I've said all of it needs to be said. In the name of the Father and of the Son. Say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Saba. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests are amongst deacons, hero deacons, and monastics of all our brotherhood in Christ. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, pardon and forgiveness of sins for the servants of God, David. David, the priest Mark, the priest David, the archpriest of Michael, child Andre, child Pelion, Myron, and all Orthodox Christians of true worship live and dwell in this community. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for the servants of God, Sakla, Trishka Helen, all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox who part of this life before us, here and in all the world lie asleep in all the Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple. Those who serve and those who sing, all the people here present, great thy great and rich mercy. Oh, Lord, thou art a merciful of God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. Come to ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. Lord, have mercy. That he will teach them the word of truth. Lord, have mercy. To them the gospel of righteousness. Lord have mercy. And he will unite them to his holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Lord have mercy. Keep them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. That with us they may glorify thine all honorable and majestic name. 
of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of the ages. Amen. Many as our catechumens depart, our catechumens, many as our catechumens depart, none of the catechumens remain. Many as are of the faithful again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Keep us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. For unto thee are the all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now endeavor and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Ever guarded by thy dominion, we may offer a glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on the way to salvation. Amen.
especially the servants of God, David, priest Mark, priest David, archpriest Michael, Patricia, Andre, Isaac, Theodoros, and Bridget, John, Tula, Helene, Myron, Anna, Melissa, Rebecca, Svetlana, archpriest Andrew, and Anna, Nina, priest Stephen, Genevieve, Annie, Haramon, Damascene, Mitchell, Linda, Subdeacon, Paisio, Sanasia, West George, Sasha, Anton, Maxime, Sergei, Alexander Clement, Lula, Kiki, for Peter Philip, Sammy, Deborah, and for all pious and orthodox Christians of to worship the Lord God, remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servants of God depart this life, our fathers and brethren who here and everywhere lie asleep in the Lord, the newly departed Thecla. The servants of God, Matushka, Helen, and Christos, the Lord God, remember in his kingdom, always, now, never,
us complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. The whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. A faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, most holy, and in ourselves, and each say. other, we hold our life unto Christ our God.
be mindful, O Lord, of our Father, who has called the Sabbath, who without wrath to thy holy church is in peace, safety, honor, health, and life of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Amen. Those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable Presbytery of the Diaconate in Christ and every priestly and monastic order and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they are remembering, and all of mankind. And of all Savior Jesus Christ shall be with you all. And with thy spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God, who loveth mankind, having received them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar, as a fragrance of spiritual sweetness, will send out upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And the vouchsafe, Master, that with boldness, without condemnation, we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, unto ages of ages. Oh, 
is the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that thou art true to Christ, the Son of the living God, who is coming to the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And I believe that this is true in thine own immaculate body, and that this is true in thine own precious blood. Wherefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, in knowledge or ignorance, and make me worthy to partake of thy condemnation, of thy immaculate mysteries, unto remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. Amen. Of thy merciful self, our Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mysteries, thy enemies. Neither will I be made against us to do this, but I am faithful, I confess thee. Remember thee, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not in the judgment, nor in the condemnation. Be not partaking in thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the given soul of the body. Amen.
shall exalt the horn of his people, a people who draw near to him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Saints, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. <coughs> we give thanks to the O Master, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls from this present day, and thou hast vouchsafed unto us thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. <coughs> Make straight our paths that the soul can hear thee. Guard our life and ensure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and of ever Virgin Mary and of all our saints. For thou art earth's sanctification, and to me we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. to the Lord. O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifiest those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them in recompense by thy divine power and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, to all thy people. For all good give thee, and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and never, and to ages of ages. Amen. Praise to God, Lord, they saw that was here. now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ God, our whole glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father. He who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of His all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, with the might, the precious, and life creating cross, by the protection of the body of His powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy, glorious, and all victorious martyrs of our venerable and God bearing fathers of the holy great three hierarchs and ecumenical teachers of the church basil the great gregor the theologian and john chrysostom patrons and protectors of this holy community of the holy and righteous ancestors of god joe Kimenana, and of the holy hieromartyr pangratios of Taormina, whom we commemorate and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us as he is good and lover of mankind through the prayers of our holy fathers O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. A little uh, trivia for you. Uh, that last prayer in Greek, the Aton F. Hon, Aion Pateron Imon, Kiri Isu Christe, O Theos Imon Soson. Some add the words, Es, Che, Ale, But it's only just 
um, I'm sorry, eleisonimos, esosonimos. But some add those words, sa uh, save us, but it's not really in the ancient petition. Basically what it is, we're thinking it means like to the holy hierarchs, all the fathers of the church. Yes, of course. But more specifically, it's a monastic prayer. The monks never ended a service without saying those words. Which one are you talking about? Through the prayers of our holy fathers. The holy fathers are the monks that have uh, arrived at perfection. That they're secretly in the midst of the community and praying for the salvation of the whole Catholic Church throughout the whole world through all time. They're already in the age to come. But they keep that divinity hidden like a precious treasure in the veil of their humble demeanor, and their humble way of life. They are the Holy Fathers that the monks are saying, please pray for us. And this is the living patrimony of the church. It's not some museum house of saints lived centuries ago, which are quite alive and with us, of course, we know this. But no, these are living saints among us in our midst even now. Uh, Father John Romanides, following the tradition of the, the ancient tradition, he used to say that the, um, there are two classes of members in the church. If you read our, our um, constitution, our parish constitution, you have the adults that get to vote and then the, the young people that don't. That's not what he's talking about. <laughs> he says there's the perfect and those that are striving for perfection. And this prayer is for, we're praying for those who are already perfect to pray for us. And they know who they are that will answer their prayer. And may God answer their prayer for our salvation. <laughs> Thought you might like that. In the Russian tradition, they don't ever, they don't do that. They, they just end the service without saying that prayer. But we have a very special little gift in that prayer. I'd like to say that. Uh, by underscoring a little bit, maybe you can take it as not just some last little thing that the priest says before we leave. Okay. God bless you. Follow your announcements and direction. Let's do the post uh, first. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me as the but hast vouchsafed me to be given to me to thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast vouchsafed me the envoy to partake of thine immaculate and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who is both thy for us and rise again, and is bestow upon us these thy dread and life giving mysteries, for the benefit and signification of our souls and bodies. Grant that they may be for me also, unto the ruin of soul and body, unto the averting of everything contrary thereto, unto the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, unto the peace of my spiritual powers, unto faith unashamed, unto love unfeigned. Unto increase of wisdom, unto the fulfillment of thy commandments, unto growth in thy divine grace, and the attainment of thy kingdom, that, preserved by them in thy holiness, I may ever remember thy grace, and henceforth, and henceforth look not unto myself, but, but unto thee, our master and benefactor. And thus, when this life is ended in the hope of eternal life, I may attain unto everlasting rest, where the voice of those who keep festival is unceasing, and the delight of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is boundless. For thou art the true desire and another and unutterable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation in thee forever. Amen. O Master, Christ our God, King of the ages, and maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast bestowed upon me, and for this partaking of thy enacted and life giving mysteries. Wherefore I pray thee, who art good and lovest mankind, keep me under thy protection and in the shadow of thy wings, and grant unto me grant unto me with a pure conscience, even and even unto my last breath. To partake of thy holy things, unto forgiveness of sins, and unto life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of good things. And unto thee we ascribe the glory, together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O thou who willing may dost give thy flesh to me as food, thou art a fire consuming the unworthy. Consume me not to my creator, but rather pass through all my body parts, into all my joints, and arrange my heart. Burn thou the thorns of all my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and hallow thou my thoughts. Make firm my knees and my bones likewise, enlighten as one my five senses. Establish me wholly in thy fear, ever shelter me, guard, and keep me from every soul corrupted in the deed and word. Cleanse me, purify and control me, adorn me, teach and enlighten me. Show me to be a dwelling place of thy spirit, and in no wise the dwelling place of sin. That from me thy habitation, through the entrance of thy communion, 
every evil deed, and every passion and place from fire. As intercessors I bring to thee all the sanctified, but the leaders of the bodiless powers, thy forerunner and thy wise apostles, and besides these, thine immaculate and pure mother. Do thou receive their prayers on my Christ, our art's compassionate, and to make thy servant to be a child of the light. For thou, O Lord, O good one, art the sanctification and splendor of our souls, and to thee as God and Master, that by thy law is my glory. May thy holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for life eternal, and thy precious blood unto forgiveness of my sins. May this Eucharist be unto me for joy, hope, and gladness, and at thy fear, fearful sucking coming, make me this sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. Through the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother and of all thy saints, amen. O all holy lady Theotokos, light of my darkened soul, my hope, my shelter, my refuge, my consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast become to me worthy, although unworthy, to be a partaker of the immaculate body and precious blood of thy son. But do thou who givest birth to the true light, enlighten the spiritual eyes of my heart. O thou who didst bear the fountain of immortality, enlighten not me who lie dead in sin. O compassion, love, Loving Mother of the Merciful God, have mercy on me, and grant me compunction and contrition of heart, and humility in my thoughts, and deliverance from the bondage of my vain imaginings. And account me worthy, even unto my last breath, to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the Immaculate Mysteries, unto the healing of both soul and body, and grant them to me tears of repentance and confession, that I may him be and glorify thee all the days of my life. For blessed and glorify art thou unto all ages. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant to pray peace according to thy word. For men as have seen that salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, light to light to the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for our name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like fire hath enlightened the universe, and hath disclosed to the world treasures of uncovetousness, and hath shown us the heights of humility. But as thou dost instruct us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, intercede with the word, Christ God, to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou dost receive divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity. O Venerable John Chrysostom, we all bless. Worthily do we extol thee, for thou art an instructor that dost reveal things divine. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. The Church is revealed to all as a brilliantly lit heaven, leading the faithful in the way of light. Standing there, we cry aloud, and make from the foundation of this household. Let a mercy, 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 let a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption bearest God the word, and art truly theotokos, who magnify thee. Bless, Father, in the name of the Lord. God, compassion upon us, and bless us, because his face shine upon us, and be merciful unto us. Amen. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, God, our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May he arose from the dead.
for that Christ, but through God to the exception of the total immaculate, nor blameless Holy Mother, the supplication of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have celebrated, with the holy glorious and all laudable apostles and all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, as he is good and lover of mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. So, um, some announcements today. Uh, I put the kebab fest first because uh, I want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to sign up uh, to volunteer for the Kebab Fest. You can put your preference for what you'd like to do, but we'll have to use you where we can. And I want you to know that uh, if you're not yet an Orthodox Christian, but you have been attending and uh, you, you can certainly help us at the kebab fence, we could probably use your help. Uh, Constantine, you have So some become fence. Orthodox and you get to do the kebab fence. <laughs> and you get an extra kebab. Um, all the team leaders, you guys have an email for me last week, but I have your physical packets here. I'm gonna put them in the back so you can take it home with you. Uh, come to me if you have any questions like clarify what needs to be done. It's kind of explained in the email and also any receipts or anything you just keep them in this envelope is a nice way to keep track of things so they can put it together. So I just wanted to get that. It's, you know, we're at 60 days out. So now it's time to really buckle down and get this full thing together. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, come to me. Um, well, I'll be basically, it's my only focus for the next two months. So just uh, I'll make time if you need to talk about anything. Um, um, I, Margaret is going to need a copy of the receipt so we can keep track of things along the way. Yeah, so absolutely. You like a copy this is for this is going to be for for Margaret. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's coming very quickly. So we look forward to <coughs> pulling together as one body and one team. Uh, and it's always a beautiful day, really, to to meet uh, the people in the valley and to provide them with such hospitality. I cannot tell you uh, the number of people that when I've been out and about in Pipus Market or somewhere else who have come up to me and said, we can't wait for your event. We can't wait for the Gabon Fest. Um, and you know, it's such a good time and so forth. So, um, and it's a way for us to witness to our Holy Orthodox faith. So I will be leaving town tomorrow along with uh, some other adults and children uh, for St. Mary of Egypt camp, uh, church camp. It's a beautiful week. Uh, we will be, well, basically we'll be coming back Saturday so uh, I will be gone for the week, but on Wednesday evening, uh, by the way, Father Patrick is also leaving tomorrow uh, for a couple weeks. So um, as far as Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we will have a small Compline service on, on Wednesday at six o'clock. Are we gonna do an act of this too? We'll see, we'll see what the consensus is. Okay, we may have just read an act of this as well. Um, the, uh, the kids class this Tuesday, I was going to cancel it and then I thought, well, why should I cancel it? Uh, we have a perfectly good teacher who can also be as goofy as me. <laughs> and that would be uh, Scott Irie. Your goofiness. <laughs> so, um, there will be Tuesday uh, kids class at 10.30 a.m. at the church. And there will be a Tuesday Bible study too. On Zoom. On Zooming it. On Zoom, but not from East Wenatchee. Right. Um, 
And then uh, also, just to let you know, we're, uh, we've changed the date of our baptisms. It's going to be Saturday, September 2nd. Okay, so just so you know, we'll give you the time uh, at a later date. Now, um, I know we have some guests. We have um, Keith, Keith um, Matsumara, is that correct? Yeah. Keith Matsumara. Uh, I know him a bit. He's, he's a guitar teacher and a really good one. And uh, he's been here some time ago uh, for some services. So we welcome you. Um, also from Moses Lake, uh, we have Jeff Long. Jeff, I lost you. Yeah? I don't see. Moses Lake people here? Mm -hmm. well, I, raise your hand if you're from Moses Lake. Or from there. Okay, I guess. I cannot see them at this moment. So we welcome them. Did I miss anybody? Also, um, John Michael, John Michael, good to have you with us again. Um, also, if I haven't welcomed back Molly Shurina from Molly, she came back from She's back. Uganda. Welcome back. How do they say in Uganda? Welcome. Um, Welcome. <laughs> okay, and she helped to build a library uh, in Uganda. It was a, an Orthodox mission trip of sorts, so uh, a wonderful thing, so we look forward to hearing about that. Okay, we have some birthdays. Some folks are not here. But we do have Margaret Voth, whose birthday is today, Margaret. And Aurelius Mihi, your birthday is tomorrow. Um, the Mihis are gonna have a birthday bash next Saturday. Uh, gosh, how many missed that? Because I'm coming back. Well, we'll see. Uh, Aaron Voth, on the 12th. And uh, is Clement here? No. We should call him and wish him a happy birthday. I think that's. Uh, can, can I stand? I think there? that's. Can I stand? There? It. Can I stand? Do you have a birthday? No. I just finished my doctoral dissertation. Yeah. Two days ago. Well, the last sentence he said it did. So I, I want a blessing yeah. for you. Can I go stand here? Go stand Can I stand here. next to the birthday boy? <clears throat> Can I stand next to you? Thank you. Friends, oh Lord, a long life, health, salvation, furtherance in all good things to thy servants, the Archpriest Patrick, Gregory, Anna, and, and Paisios, and grant them many blessed years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many, many, many years. Bless me, too. I can't believe you have to bless me. No, you have to. Bless me. <laughs> Please fight over who can. Happy dissertation. Thank you, Father, by your prayers. Uh, With this community, you've been actually really, really good for me because um, it gives me concentration when I need it. And then when I don't, I have the joy of being with you. And it's perfect. It's been marvelous. So I'm so, so it'll be. Uh, Father Dr. Patrick. Yeah, okay. I don't want I think PhD. Okay, just this is of this world only. Just keep the father part. Stick with the father. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>